We continue to follow breaking news today. One man is in custody this morning after barricading himself inside a home and firing multiple gunshots at officers. CBS 4's Hannah Fullman joins us on the city's northeast side this morning with the latest from police. Good morning, Hannah. Hey, Justin, just like you said, this did start as a domestic incident on the city's northeast side. Police say that a man fired shots at officers shortly after they arrived. Now we are learning at the time of the incident, there were 11 people inside of the home. Seven of them were children, but thankfully they did all get out safely. Just like you said, at this hour, the man is in custody. And if I step out of the frame, I can show you that there are still several police officers here on the scene collecting evidence. There was a drone up just a few minutes ago. There are flashlights out right now just trying to gather exactly what led up to this incident early this morning. Police tell us it started around 230. They say there were multiple people inside the home, 11 people to be exact, and officers were able to get everyone out safely before those shots were fired. The suspect proceeded to barricade himself inside the home after everyone did get out safely, and once officers announced they were outside, they say that's when the suspect fired multiple shots at them. Thankfully, none of the officers were struck. None of the officers returned fire and no officers were injured. Police say the suspect gave himself up shortly after three this morning and he was taken into custody without further incident. We are also told the suspect did have a deep cut on his leg, but it was unrelated to this incident this morning and he he is being checked out at the hospital right now, but he did end up giving himself up and thankfully again, nobody is hurt. None of the officers were hit by any of that gunfire we heard this morning. For now reporting live on the northeast side, Hannah Fullman, CBS 4 News.